Welcome to Jet Lag African Adventures trip number four. And we are in this beautiful city of Cape Town, South Africa. Our subscribers have traveled with Jet Lag for free in exchange of Jet Lag filming their experiences for our YouTube channel. The objective for jet lag is pretty simple and is in two parts. The first part is about changing the narrative. We do that by showing you parts of Africa that are not always shown and that our viewers rarely ever get to see. The second part is about culture exchange. We believe in order for you to learn someone from a different culture as yours, just spend time with them, get to know them as a person. We are all here to do that on this free trip and we're going to have fun doing that. For this particular trip, the cultural aspect of it, we are going to be paid up. And as I explained earlier, this whole trip is called My African Work Bay because you have three hosts that are local working without three guests. So I feel like I said I was the one doing the old talking yesterday. And I didn't give you the chance to speak about yourself. Tell me yeah, about you yourself. Didn't ask me any questions. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, come across as a as a narcissist, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right from the beginning. No, but it was flag. interesting getting to know you, though. Yeah, okay, so That's tell me about was. yourself. What do you want to know? Anything, anything that comes to your mind. Um, me and Emmanuel, we actually ended up having a little bit more time to talk and I feel bad about calling him narcissistic because he actually apologized for that and uh, he actually like brought it up himself and was like, I realized that yesterday, you know, I didn't really ask you too much about yourself so I wanted to ask you again. So I really, I really uh, like that appreciation that, you know, and that consideration that he gave me by even just bringing that up and apologizing to me. They had their first experience on the yacht right here in Cape Town. It's crazy because people have a certain perspective of Africa. They look at it as if it's like substandard. Um, they look at it like it's not luxury at all. But honestly, that was my first time on a yacht ever. That just kind of made me smile, you know, like, yeah. So that just goes to show that no matter where you're from, you really have to go out and experience places to truly see the true beauty and the true essence of a country or um, of a state or of a city. And I'm happy that I got that experience. My dreams were coming through me trying to show, showcase Africa in uh, the luxury side of that, trying to showcase that Africa is actually also luxurious. And I have been hearing things like, oh, we're coming back here to buy a house. Good, come, start coming back home. So yeah, that's a little bit. And I also got a chance to interact further with Kyla. I gave her a chance to speak a little bit about herself as well. So that kind of balanced out my conscience eventually. So I'm happy about that too. Remember viewers, My African Work Bay is not a dating show. It's about culture exchange. Two people of different nationalities, different cultures and backgrounds, working together in one space, not just to learn about their new environment, but to learn about each other's cultures. <laughs> but it's a small town, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's where I grew up. You're a small town girl. I am. Okay. I don't know. A tight family. Literally. I feel like every time you see me on the phone, I'm talking to my mom. If you see me on the phone, I'm talking to my mom. Like my sisters or whatever. So, like, just. Stay tight with it. Yeah. What is the. 
Like, what is the village or the town known for? I'm sorry, I use village. village. <laughs> it's not a village. It's not a village. It's, village. Yeah, it's a town. <laughs> All right. What is the town it's known city. for? Where is the city known? It's a city. You call it a small town. That's OK. I call Toronto a small town, too. Jason really loved the red wine, which is weird because I didn't. But he really loved um, all the flavors in it. He had me like swirl it in my mouth to like, because I was scared. Because the scent, like the aroma of the wine, immediately like hit me in my face. Good. Take it in and don't swallow it right away. Just swash it around and let it coat your mouth. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then and it, swallow. I won't lie, it took me like a while to swallow. It was like, I can't do this, I can't do this. And he's like, no, just relax and you're gonna be able to swallow. And eventually I swallowed, but it was still it was still not my vibe. I got to see how funny she was. She was very, very funny. And uh, I'm a person that likes to laugh a lot. You know, I, people consider me or may perceive me to be a very serious and like stoic person but there's nothing i love more than like good food good wine good company and like good laughs they, they want what we have they can't have it unfortunately they don't have like a cheaper understanding of it because everything to them you ask one you see them girl a beauty them? From the start it was you and me Te wali mulala who could come between us Nendo was ambe sambi Those are the girls all to the exit check please Omo kwa no ne kwe somba Ne gunta bula I was drunk in love Sama nyanti ruli balumu All the walls came crashing So tell me Nali wa kumeka Wani because yo ne nkule kana ye I can't even get words out right now. Nadi wa kumeka, wani because they don't even go to Ghana. You're playing this game too long. Is either good or it's bad? But baby, baby, no, but your cold eyes are wet. No, it's my house. I said no. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the door. I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> Can we go to the full side? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Smooth. Smooth operator. He came over. I thought it was cool. I fully uh, based here in 2018, but I've been coming here since 2016. I just shot through between here and Nigeria. So fully came here in 2018. I was expecting us to have a good spark just because of the location. It was super romantic. But when we went to talk, it's almost like, how can I put this? The physical chemistry was there. Like the physical chemistry, even from when we went to the winery, it was like an instant spark. But when we got the time to sit down and actually talk, he came off as more of a narcissist. You can go there and not have to look for Nigerian food. Okay, it's literally right there. Yeah, it no, like, like here whatever as they well. eat, whatever they eat, you can relate with it, okay. with the ingredients. They are almost like similar, mm. kind of. To Kyla, although I was sharing most times my own talking about myself too much, which. <laughs> was a little bit strange and it's because I'm, I'm a talker i like to talk about myself so i she didn't get the chance to speak much about herself but don't worry i'm not a narcissist <laughs> he didn't really ask me anything about myself so that kind of threw me off like i'm used to my men being all about me i'm used to having the attention on me <laughs> ended up in the pool because it was very, very inviting and I had a moment teaching him how to swim. 
which um, did cause a bit of eyes on me. And then it seemed like he was interested in the other females, I can't lie. Like he was in the pool with Nicole for hours. I don't even know how long they were in the pool. Like he didn't come check on me. He didn't try to like sit by me. And like I said, I'm used to my men being about me. It was just friendly vibes. Um, me and my work bay are good. Um, I was really just having fun in the pool. I hope I didn't step on anyone's toes. I think Imano got a little bit carried away with the whole mansion thing because he was just trying to hit on everybody. You know, I don't know whether he was flirting or maybe I was just like seeing things. But you yeah, know, it's vibes. You know, when you have a mansion, you've got freedom to get anybody that you want. <laughs> and he's hot, so I mean. <laughs> and it wasn't just Nicole, even with Eve. The banter they had, the little flirtatious back and forth, you would have thought that they were already together. They knew each other before. But I mean, if he has chemistry with somebody else, that's okay. Because like I said, that's not what jet lag is about. Jet lag is more so about just comparing cultures and being able to experience another side of Africa as an American. Like for example, the house, the luxurious house that we were in. Most people in America, like how the media portrays Africa, it's, it's literally like a third world country with the um, dirt roads and you know the huts and the small villages. Nobody would ever know that there's a beautiful side of Africa that's almost like LA or Miami, better than LA to be honest. If I'm being honest with you, South Africa is better than LA as, from my experience so far. So I'm just excited to be on this journey. I'm excited to be able to experience this part of Africa. I'm just happy that I had that experience and that um, he was thoughtful enough to put that together for me. You ask one.